talk to your old boy. Let me show y'all something. I got a lot to talk about, but I'm still smiling, though. I think this be pissing them off, so I'm going to smile a little harder for you. <laughs> but look at what they're doing to me now, y'all. Watch this. Now, I done paid my phone bill, but watch this. Your wireless service has been temporarily suspended. For assistance. <laughs> they done cut my goddamn phone off. Lord have mercy. <laughs> Watch this. I wonder if I can call 911. Your wireless service has been temporarily suspended. For assistance, please dial. Now, yesterday, I was logged out of my email. And it tells me to create a new password, but then it sends me to like a, I don't know, it sent me to a fake like link and then said some, because it automatically just sent a message to my phone and said, someone in North Carolina is trying to log into your email. Was it you? And I said, no. And then it said, create a new email. Excuse me. And then it sent me to this weird little link. I'm like, oh shit, <laughs> I ain't doing that. So then I turned my phone off and turned it back on. And now I'm getting this message on my phone. Your wireless service has been temporarily suspended. For assistance, please dial. It ain't no go along, get along game. <laughs> ah, it ain't no go along, get along game. It might be just as many go along, get along gang members in the chat than, than people that actually like me. Man, y'all done turned my phone off. Y'all done kicked me out my damn email. Mm, mm, mm. Got people pulling in my driveway. All right, now. I see y'all. <laughs> okay. Keep it up. <laughs> Keep it up. Um, but I'm not going to let y'all stop me from doing what I'm doing now. You know, I'm Geechee. I told y'all we're a little bit different. Because just as much hate as I'm getting, I'm getting the love too. Shout out to uh, Mims. A young man uh, ran into me last night. Positive young brother. Asked me what I was doing. And I was telling him some of the things I was doing telling him about a card that I'm trying to create. And he was like, man, I got something that might can help you out. This and this and that. Uh, sent me a link. Obviously, I can't call you yet, my brother. So if you try to call me, <laughs> I ain't give you the wrong number. <laughs> don't blast me online or something, which you don't seem like that type. But uh, I'm having some phone trouble and I don't know why. So But it ain't no go along, get along game, though. And shout out to Charleston White. You know, I saw you uh, speaking up for me a couple of days ago and he said something on your podcast. Um, I like that positive message that you're giving the young uh, brothers about the other side of, of what happens when you get arrested. And, uh, you know, that's why I try to get my brother to talk. You know, my brother, uh, <laughs> he, didn't be in, he didn't like being called a number. So, he used to have to go to the hole a lot because he would force the, the little young guards to say his name, to call him what he was told him to call him and not a number. And anybody who know him know that he didn't fall 20 guards and I'm not glorifying it, but he built a reputation on making them young, especially the young white boys that would come in there and be disrespectful. Uh, he would make them go get everybody they know in order to get him to do what they wanted him to do. And none of it worked. So, um, I like, and my brother doesn't glorify it. He's never been back. He's never been a repeat offender. And he tell the young people all the time, that's not something that you want to do. Um, he he learned from his stay, but he tell kids that it was things that he could have done on the streets and people he could have listened to on the streets to avoid that. He just didn't. And every day he wish he did. So the people that's glorifying that, they full of shit. 
You know, it ain't fun having no man tell you to take your damn clothes off, telling you where you can go and, and calling you some number and, and, and forcing you to turn the lights off and when to wake up. Nah, fuck that. That ain't the life. And we got to stop glorifying that. And I ain't trying to offend nobody, but, you know, it's some great young black males that are going astray because that lifestyle gets you the girl because that lifestyle is more popular than reading the book. And we got to stop that shit. Some of you ladies need to get these boys some. <laughs> <laughs> these boys that can read, some of you ladies need to. Let me drink my water. <laughs> some of you ladies, <laughs> no offense. I think, I don't know, but I think some of you ladies, it's none of my business. I'm going to stay out of it. Your body, your choice. But my opinion is, I think, I hope you listen, that you should be. Them niggas that can read, you need to start. Don't let these people fool you with this brainwash they doing. Got the beautiful women talking about they want niggas with bodies. Really? Okay. And shout out to Faison Love. Faison Love, man, I appreciate everything you're saying. I think you know about the go-along, get-along game. I might need somebody to get me in contact with Faison Love. I think we'll have a grand old conversation, boy. <laughs> I think we'll have a hell of a conversation. I need to figure out how to get in touch with uh, Faison Love. If anybody know, let me know. Uh, because, oh, wait, wait a minute. What we have here? Because, yeah, man, I think we'll have a great conversation. And I think, and I'm going to answer questions about the whole why I brought Tommy on my show because a lot of people asked, was asking why did I do that and this, this, and that. I'll tell you why in a second because that's going to be the last time I mention them. We're going to get back to the focus. And I think these people are sending these people at me for that reason. It's trying to knock me off my focus. And I think a lot of y'all know that too. So we're going to just, I found these little cards right here. So I'm just make sure we bring these people back to the light. Yeah, we're going to bring these people back up. Lesser charge. Yeah, we're going we gonna to bring these people back up. Yeah, little fake-ass beta males on TV walking around with a goddamn leash on. They putting an apple in your mouth, I think. Sticking your finger in bunkies on TV. Playing your little ritual out on TV for our kids to see. We tired of that shit, boy. See, we so tired of it, I got a sign specially made for y'all. Stop throwing them damn bunkies around, okay? Yeah, I got a sign for y'all. And you half a haircut, some bitch. You sending all them people at me thinking I'm going to stop asking you, boy. Huh? Hold on, let me move my finger. You think I'm going to stop asking you, boy. We going to get this question answered, bitch. Why were you at them colleges talking about basketball and how sorry somebody is? And bitch, we can look up how many points you scored. We can look up how many times you wrote essays on the goddamn coach. We can look up. You did. You had more impact writing about your goddamn coach than you did playing for him. And you want you the motherfucker who talking about goddamn basketball and everybody life every day. You honorary fucking Q dog. No offense to the cute dog. I got a lot of cute dog friends. But y'all need to kick that little puppet in the ass. That man talking about black boys and y'all a black organization. Y'all need that cute dog stunt that son bitch. Because look here. I got another question, boy. Why was you at them high school, boy? All right. And I got another question, boy. Hold on. I found another card. Oh, that's wrote that again. Yeah, I had better hand right in that time. You know, I used my left hand, right hand. <laughs> hey, but those are some real questions that need to be answered. I need to know, why was you at them goddamn colleges? Why were you at them damn high schools, boy? And what were you teaching these kids? And did it work? And let's see the progress. Did it benefit society or did it fuck it up? Let's see. Because I think you turned most of these boys into gossip girls like you. A bunch of little disrespectful little minions like you. 
So that's the very same reason why we put the damn light back on. That's the very same reason why I brought uh, Brother Tommy on the show because I knew that there's a lesson that people can learn from it. As much as it made me want to throw up because I already knew he was going to overtalk me. I told you to go along, get along game, play by the same rules. Listen at the way they speak. This young man is in a so-called debate. He put on his show that we were in a debate. In a debate, you don't talk over someone the way that he did. He's a 40-something year old man, man. And he had to talk over somebody barely touching 40. I brought him on my show to really find out why are you on Sinetta's show? Why are you talking to Sinful P? Why are you talking to the lead attorney? Why are you, every show you go on, you mentioning my name and I asked you, you, you said you called my mom a uh, P word A B. And I got the video of you saying it. And then you come here and lie and say you didn't say it. So it just, I wanted to prove and show to the people why us as males are at the bottom. And here's why. We don't know how to talk to one another. Not all. Please don't get offended by this. Like I said, I used him as a teachable moment. These people that think they're educated, our so-called black educated, right? If you listen to how all of them talk, they cannot take what they do into an arena with a white guy because that's who we all supposed to be competing with, right? So that argumentative talk over style, if you're competing with white males, which is at the top, right? We're all supposed to be trying to get to the top. When I was playing basketball in high school, I knew Tyson Chandler before he knew me. Cause he was at the top. I saw him on a magazine. I said, oh, hell yeah, I want that. So I got to play him. It wasn't hate, it was competition. And so, and it made, he made me, he pushed me to be better. So kudos to Tyson. And that's how it was supposed to be. But listen at the way this 40 something year old, he's pushing 50 year old black man. What he thinks was a debate where every time I tried to make a point, he had to yell and shout. In a debate, when you get emotional, you automatically lose. In a debate, when you gotta stop somebody's talking points to ask them, do you still, uh, 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 what did he say? Uh, uh, look up to me and all this idiotic stuff. Can't stay on task. So the reason why we get kicked in the ass when we go try to compete with white boys is because they're not gonna let you do that. There's going to be a moderator there that's going to make you stay on task and stick to the point. And if you only know how to do what Mr. Sotomayor did, which a lot of us do. Our black males, we are trained to yell and get aggressive and talk over somebody and think that we won at a point like that. And in my opinion, you didn't win anything. You having to look at me ego show. And a lot of males are, computer, are communicating like that. And that's why it's a lot of violence going on. Because when men don't do no talking, how, how I always say, we don't do no talking. When men don't do no talking, then violence is the next necessary step. So I know it was a lot of young brothers didn't really understand. And like, like I said, we're not going to agree on everything. But like that was a teachable moment. Young brothers that's trying to be educated and learning from educated people and seeing bad habits, they'll never be able to compete with white boys. And they are the ones running. They're at the top. This is not a racist thing. This is a competition thing. So if you at the top, I'm coming for I've always been the type that I'm coming for. Yes. And not to defeat you, but it's enough lanes in the highway for all of us. We should all aspire to be great. And that's not the way to communicate. He did exactly what I knew he was going to do. And he exposed himself. So young brothers, do not model yourself after that. That is not a debate. Arguing on every, everywhere that this gentleman go, he argued. And I knew y'all were saying to me, don't bring him on. He going to do this. Yeah. And I wanted the younger generation to see that. That is not a true elder. Elders don't do that. Elders don't stand on the shoulders of young men because young men are the strength. We what they used to be. 
we supposed to respect them because they're elders, but they're supposed to respect us as well. And so I just wanted to display the reason why there's a disconnect between the younger generation and the older generation. The older generation sometimes wants to have this place. Uh, they want to hold on to the history of what they've done. And you're supposed to share that history so somebody can take that information and make better with what you started. But we all having to look at me show now. This internet makes everybody want to say, Hoorah! got men talking over cameras and saying things that if you say to people in front of them, you can lose your life. It's a possibility, I think, maybe. It's just something that I wouldn't say. And in real life, and you young guys got to start looking at what makes sense in real life. Because what you're seeing on these news stations and Instagrams and TVs, a lot, majority of these people are lying to you. So that's why the truth is getting attacked so much. Now, if it ain't no go along, get along game, I'm just old busty bus. My phone ain't never been off. Now look at this. Your wireless service has been temporarily suspended. For assistance, please. I don't understand why my wireless service has been suspended.